Hi everyone, I'm retired meteorologist Pat Prokop, and the day is Friday, September 20th. That's only a day and a half away now from the, the beginning of autumn. Autumn begins Sunday at 8.44 a.m. That's when the sun crosses the equator heading southward toward the Tropic of Capricorn. But we still have summer-like conditions uh, in our area and uh, temperatures are in the mid to upper 80s over the next several days, including today. Uh, meanwhile, the tropics, well, we're still watching that system. So let's go to the map right now. And there you can see uh, the National Hurricane Center has a moderate chance for a system developing in the Western Caribbean Sea, Southern and Central Gulf of Mexico over the next five to seven days. And uh, it looks like closer to the seven day period or five to seven day period uh, for this development here. Two other areas in the central portion of the tropical Atlantic Ocean. Nothing to worry about from there. Let's take a look at the uh, satellite imagery. And there is that system that's uh, over here in the south central portions of the Western Caribbean Sea. It's getting a touch bit, bit organized, more organized today than it was the last couple of days. It's still very disorganized at that. Further off to the east, uh, uh, still watching that tropical wave developing on the coast of Africa or near the coast of Africa, not moving offshore yet, but it should be moving on shore, offshore uh, over the weekend. And we are still seeing uh, activity in the inner tropical convergence zone. The tropical Atlantic Ocean is getting a little bit better organized, a little bit more active now than it has been over the last, oh well, gosh, five to six weeks. Anyway, got to keep an eye on this area here, this wave over here, and of course, uh, this larger wave over here. So uh, with that being said, let's take a look at the computer models. And first of all, the GFS from the uh, Friday uh, morning run, and it shows that the system, just like the last couple of days, is just stewing out there and doesn't get any better organized until over the weekend going into the middle portion of next week. Now, here we go by uh, Wednesday afternoon, uh, the model is forecasting the system to start to get better organized into a uh, circular um, rotation, a low pressure system developing there in the north central portion of the Caribbean Sea, uh, moving toward the Straits of Yucatan, and then moves it northward across western Cuba into the eastern to western into the eastern to central Gulf of Mexico, more in the eastern side of the Gulf of Mexico, it ramps it up pretty good too. Uh, this is by Friday, a week from today, uh, having it as a pretty hefty system right now. Uh, could be tropical system Helene by that time. And it continues to move it northward and then a little bit to the west, northwest, but more or less north, and then bends it to the west. And remember, the last couple of month, uh, 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 computer model runs on this system here, uh, the GFS, had it uh, swinging eastward. Now it has it swinging westward, so who knows what's going on. It's, again, too early to really pinpoint uh, what these models are saying and where these systems will go. And then it brings in more moisture across our region for uh, the weekend and into early next week. And then it brings in a couple more tropical systems. And there's another one. Uh, this is now October 4th, uh, two weeks from today. And then there's some waves move that have been moving off the coast of Africa beginning to show up in the computer models as well. Uh, and we might be able to see two or three storms at once uh, by the end of this forecast period, which is uh, 16 days. So that's way far out there to uh, keep an eye on it. But uh, you know, the computer models are indicating the tropics indeed are becoming a little bit more active. What about the uh, ECMWF? It just came in. Here it is. Uh, and it shows basically the same thing it has been showing over the last several days. Uh, not much uh, development over the weekend into early to middle portion of next week, but then by um, almost a week from today, on the Thursday morning, or Thursday, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, it shows it developing as a low pressure system over in the Bay of Campeche in the southern Gulf of Mexico, and then moves it northward, but then it begins to move it toward the east. Uh, you know, the last couple of days, it was moving it more toward the west and then northward. Now it's moving it more toward the east, uh, and then brings it in across the uh, lower portions of the Mississippi Valley around Alabama, uh, into western Georgia with some very heavy rains, but the actual low itself uh, forecast over uh, in the central portion around just north of Mobile, Alabama. And this is a Sunday, not this Sunday, the uh, eight, nine days from now, uh, Sunday, September 29th. 
and then it moves it northward. So according to this model, it's another threat to have to keep an eye on that once again. Well, what about the Canadian model? It has been kind of like running in between the GFS and the um, a G uh, and the and the ECMWF. So the CMC. Let's take a look at that. The Canadian Meteorological Center. Again, just like everybody else, not showing much until uh, the middle portion of next week. There's Tuesday and Wednesday, and then forms a, a strong area of low pressure in the central Gulf of Mexico on Wednesday, at two o'clock in the afternoon, and then it bends it to the west now this time, and then pushes it off to the north. So again, it, it develops a strong system, but it. Totally different location, a uh, landfall off than the, the other two models, so I have to keep an eye on that once again. But it does show something developing, so we need to be uh, you know, keep our concern up for uh, this system. Uh, last one, we want to look at the German model, the Icon model, see what it has to say for itself. And uh, oops, that's the new run coming in. And then, uh, let's do the 12 Zulu Friday run. Uh, get more information here. And uh, again, just like everybody else, the other models, it shows. Uh, you know, little development until the middle of next week, and then it shows a storm system developing, and then it brings it up into uh, further east than all the other models. So uh, these models are jumping around all over the place, and that's expected with a system like this. It hasn't developed yet, and when systems are not developed, uh, the computer models have a really, really hard time in deciding and, and figuring out where these systems uh, will go and how they will develop. So just keep that in mind. If you're looking at models, um, really just just look at them and don't be overly concerned just be concerned the fact that a system could be developing late next week that could affect our area and uh, looking at the uh, my website savannahpat.name uh, the uh, I keep you posted on that the National Hurricane Center of course has the best source of information uh, that you can follow uh, for tropical weather systems. And uh, if, if you go to my webpage, you can, you can find the National Hurricane Center at Tropical Weather Outlook. Just click on that, and that'll take you right to the uh, National Hurricane Center. You have to click on the seven-day graphical forecast to see what uh, this system is expected to do. And there's the information from the National Hurricane Center showing that system, of course, that we're watching ourselves. Meanwhile, let's go back to the... Uh, uh, uh and uh, let's take a look at the weekend forecast. It looks great. Uh, if you want to get out and have some last summer flings of the uh, beaches and outdoor activities, this is the weekend to do it. Summer ends on uh, Saturday night, m Sunday morning. We begin the uh, autumn, and uh, but temperatures are still going to be in the mid to upper 80s uh, going into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Uh, then we're going to start seeing an increase in cloud cover on Wednesday and Thursday, but really... Um, nothing yet until the end of next week. So keep that in mind. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.